While most kids are back in class already, here in Weber's Falls, they're not. Now teachers started back on Monday, but there's still a lot of work to do to get things ready for the first day of school. I think we're going to make that day. Uh, now if you had asked me last week, I would have said, oh, I don't know about, uh, about that, but the building's going to be ready by September 3rd. This is what classrooms looked like after the floodwaters receded. Mud coated the floors and walls. We had around 18 inches of water, but by the time that we came into the building, we had mold growing up this high. Workers are leaving nothing untouched, replacing walls and ceilings, laying down new floors, all to get ready for the 300 pre-K through 12th graders that go to school here. But it's not hard to see the signs of the flood that hit in May. Out of 175 homes and buildings in Weber's Falls, the town administrator says only 15 of them did not have flood damage. Plastic fencing surrounds this apartment complex that used to be full of residents. Now it's since empty with caution tape and no trespassing signs warning people to stay away. It's totally different than anything we've ever experienced in my lifetime. Some homeowners are rebuilding, but it's a slow process. You can see the message spelled out on this fence, hope and faith. And the American flag that flies outside this flooded home waves in the wind as residents work to rebuild their lives, homes, and their school. I see heartbreak for a lot of people. We are a small community. We are in an area of poverty. It's not easy to come back from something like this. And to make it easier on parents, the superintendent says they're hoping to have enough school supplies for every student. And to donate money, school supplies, or to volunteer to help, you can call the school for more information. In Weber's Falls, Brett Rains, 4029 News.